what size this is. You got yours? Well, you gotta wait till I get this one in, Jeff. It feels okay. Oh yeah, nice large one. Nice large one. Oh yeah. Ooh, he's got a mouthful of brat. <laughs> All right. Boy, boy, I'm telling you, that, that bait is a, an amazingly good hooking bait. You got no problem getting, getting hooked. Uh, there. Look at that one, huh? Nice one. Oh, there you go, baby. You know, when we look for uh, uh, new lakes that we like to explore and up the odds in our favor, no matter if it's largemouth, smallmouth, walleyes, muskies, there's certain things we look for in advance when we're studying the maps. And uh, one of the things that's important, a lot of structure at a lot of different depths. You know, you know big expansive flats that have living space on them uh, before it breaks into deep water. Lots of different depth humps if it has, a, you, know, you know, humps that are shallow, maybe six foot on top. Humps that uh, could be fall or winter, winter spots that are like 12, 15, or 20, or 25, surrounded by 40, 50 feet of water. The more structure, diverse structure, the lake has, the more it increases the odds of fish populations being high. Then you want stuff on that structure in the form of cover. You want a lot of shallow water cover, uh, uh, things like, uh, of boat docks, bulrushes, lily pads, a good weed choke bays. You want cover on the flats, not just clear sand cover. You want types of cover on the flats that lead out to the drop off. The more diversity the lake has to offer and the cover that's on, on that structure, the better the lake is gonna be. And this holds true for any kind of fish that swims.